what's the best way to if if our body is acidic to turn that around and get you know our body back to a, a more healthful state well the best way used to be the diet that we ate the few people that are actually alkaline today are probably vegans mm. because vegetables especially organic vegetables with all the nutrients still in them a lot of our vegetables don't have all the nutrients anymore are, are very very alkaline fruits by and large some aren't but most are are alkaline as well and and there are many other foods foods that are, are either neutral or alkaline and it's just a matter of, of going forward and we promote the cancer diet as well and finding those things that are alkaline and help make your body alkaline so diet used to be the number one way to do it it's not anymore although cancer patients must have an alkaline diet the second the second thing and the most important thing now is in my opinion because of the study that I've done and the cancer patients that I've talked to is ionized water Hmm. Ionized water, most people don't know about it, and I didn't know about it. When I went out to research and, and find out what cancer patients can drink, almost everything you, you buy today is acid. You can't go to a store and buy anything hardly that's, that's not acid as far as drinks are concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, you can drink Gatorade and Coca-Cola. Pop is 2.5 pH. That's slightly above stomach acid. Why would you drink that? And so I went about studying water, and unfortunately, most of the water, bottled water, whatever, is acidic water. Your bottled water was bottled from a year to three years ago by the time you get it. It's been sitting in a plastic bottle. Hmm. How good is that for you? Mm -hmm. Tap water is neutral largely and sometimes a little bit alkaline because they have to make it that way. So they put lye in it and they put other things in your tap water to bring it up so that it is, it is neutral or alkaline. Do you want to drink that water with fluoride and chlorine and arsenic and everything else that's in it? So I went around and uh, started looking at the companies that made um, ionizing equipment. And they're, they're little machines that sit on your counter. They split the water molecule into acid and, and alkaline. That's the short version. And they produce acid water, which goes down the drain, and alkaline water, which you drink. But it's, the, the alkalinity is very important, but it also restructures the water to make it low microclustered so it gets into your cells very easily and it reshapes it into a hexagonal form like the shapes of your cells. So I can drink 16 ounces of water and in a minute or two I can be jumping on a trampoline and it's already left my stomach. Hmm. That's hydration. But it brings the most important thing into your cells and that's the, uh, the OH minus, that split water molecule full of uh, free radical scavengers that billions per glass that start scavenging the, the free radicals in your body, antioxidants, most important thing, and everyone needs that. Everyone does. So um, I recommend a specific machine and company because I, I studied them all, and this is by far the best one that I have ever seen. You only buy one in your life. It always produces the water that you need, the 2.5 to kill all pathogens, including MRSA and E. coli. You don't drink it. The 11.5 that uh, washes all your produce and washes all the pesticides and herbicides off and then the 8.5 to 9.5 which you drink and I'll tell you it, it does miracles for people I don't tell people it heals cancer or anything mm -hmm. else your immune system heals your cancer but you've got to treat it right and when you do with this right diet with this ionized water and supplements as well then surprisingly you become healthy again mm -hmm.